Welcome to the demo of Cloth and Fabric Industry Sale Order Management Model. In this demo, we have done uh, changes in sale order form. Like, first of all, we have provided customer account number. Once I select a customer, other details of the customer gets populated like sold to, telephone number, email address. Apart from that, you can specify other details like customer PO, order buy, or ship via details. After that, I will select a product. Here we have allowed customer to add other details like miscellaneous charges, freight handling, sale tax and you can also track how much amount is deposited and how much deposited amount get invoiced. One button called CFA request. A CFA request is a sample request by customer. Let's say I will save it. Then I will ask for a CFA request. In warehouse module, you can see there is a link called CFA request. This link gives you a list of all the CFA requests which is generated. Here you can see CFA004 is generated, which require product A, and the status of the CFA is requested. Let's say we have dispatched the CFA to the customer. Now the state of the CFA changed to dispatch. Now once when we come back to our original sale order form on main sale order form under bill information you can see CFA status change to shipped. From here you can either say it is sent, approved or rejected. Uh, let's say for now I will say it is approved and I will save this record. When we create any sale order, a uh, one more request is created in a warehouse. This request we call as a reserve request. Here you can see a new request is generated whose status is requested. When supplier logs in and he see all the requested records, he look into the product which is requested, the quantity required, and if he thinks that he has that product, he will change the status to the available. Once product status is marked as available, the sales order state changed to reserve. Now here you can handle couple of scenarios like you can directly place the order that means the customer is ready to go ahead with this sale order or you can again ask for a CFA request. This cycle will continue. Similarly you can record any advance payment from the customer here. For now I will mark this as an order. Once sale order is in a order state, you can put up couple of business rules like uh, collection of 40% of total amount or the collection of any advance payment. Let's say in this case, I will want to record one payment detail. I assume my customer paid me a check with a reference number of RF1234 which dated on today's date let's say and the copy of the received check I, uh, I got a copy of a received check on 14th and I received the payment let's say on 14 itself the amount is let's say hundred dollar and I can save this record In this way we can handle multiple payments over here. Now you can see over here a deposited amount is $100. Okay. 
let's see we will move ahead with this now we will go ahead with the order and we will release the order in this way order is released now you can create an invoice or you can directly deliver a product let's say we will first create an invoice for that order Once we deliver the product for the given order, the state of the sale order changes to deliver. After that, you can close the invoice. In this way, a normal sale cycle process is handled. Let's say a condition where we have to put the particular order as a back order. Create a one sale order. Once sale order is done, we will go to the warehouse module under reserve request. We will mark product availability as not available. When product avail availability for particular sale order is marked as not available, the state of the sale order changes to not available reserve request from here you we can directly ask customer whether he want to put this order as a back order or he want to cancel this where it say please pay in advance for back order because there is a rule that you cannot mark any order back order and unless and until you pay some amount let's say for this I will make a payment detail In order to mark any sale order as a back order, first of all you need to pay some amount. Let's say in this case I will pay some amount. I will pay only two thousand dollar. After paying some amount, you can mark order as a back order. The order lies in a back order state until and unless the product's availability state again changes to availability or the available. Let's say from mail information, I will mark product from not available to the available and I will save the record after this you can see a state of the order is changes to RES and from here you can again go through the stages that we discussed 
earlier in this way in the, in this demonstration we have seen a sale order management for cloth and fabric industry where sale order goes to the various stages apart from that we have seen a CFA handling and a product availability handling along with this we have basic functionality of open ERP like invoicing and other stuffs so thank you for watching this demo